Welcome to the final episode of Dragon Ninja High Season 1, where we last left off in a rage of Rebecca being struck by the evil warrior of Olympus. Jake had unleashed a great form of the dragon power, unleashing a new transformation, even linked to its own garments of robes and armor, and even his sword being transformed. <sighs> Speaking in a you know, almost as if in a separate ident entity, he spoke. Tonight you pray for the sins of Olympus. Prepare for your end. So the battle began. It was so hard to see what was going on for everyone just saw a purple and blue light. Blue being Jake and purple being the warrior of Olympus. Strikes were heard as he as Jake roared for his dragon like nature. Dragon destroy Yike The thunder was calling from the ground. And the Olympian warrior fell to the ground, as release revealing two humongous blades. He's matching up the speed of the of Jacob in his transformation. Transformation of the new sword. <laughs> that was the sound of what everyone in that stadium heard as the swords and blades clashed power. Olympus shall win. Zeus's power goes beyond those of the mortal realm. The response from this these form of Jake was, Then I guess we'll have to see if Zeus is prepared for me once I master this power. <laughs> With that, Jake used one powerful Dragon strike! Slicing the Olympian and warrior in half in multiple different points, killing the warrior. As Jake returned to his base form, um, only having loose memories of the transformation, going to struck down Rebecca. Yeah, holding her in arms to take her to the med bay. His former crush, now seeing his power, saying things would increase her popularity to date him. Jake says, no. Your response was, What? Jake said, Again, no. The only reason I had a crush on you was because I thought you were a nice person. But, they might now, you never treated me with any form of respect. Rebecca cared for me, always supported me during the training throughout my time at Ninja High. Rebecca came to college just as he said that. Jake, and with that, they went home. Back at Ninja High, a couple weeks had passed. As Jake and Rebecca were on, on the rooftop at the top of the building, a new headmaster has been assigned, being the son of the former one who had died last episode. Thanks for saving me, Jake. No problem. And with that, the two looked at each other with a glimmer in their eyes and shed the first kiss. Then, we zoom far off the skies, as a dark mountain is among them, with fallen Roman and Greek structures upon him, like the dark emperor of the Greek gods, Zeus. <laughs> Looks like my part has failed me. <laughs> Looks like I've the one of my most loyal and strongest warriors. And who would that be, Lord Zeus? Go get Kratos.